The Whipple W175FF 2.9 liter intercooled supercharger kit is a great option for any 14 to 18 53 Silverado or Sierra 1500 owner looking to upgrade to a forced induction setup to make some great power over the stock or naturally aspirated motor. Supercharging your truck will put some serious low end torque at your disposal, which does wonders for guys using their truck to its fullest potential. If you're towing and hauling constantly, then you know the more torque at the bottom end of the RPM band, the better off you are. And with a lifted setup with larger wheels and tires, it'll just be that much more helpful. Grabbing the 2.9 liter blower from a big name like Whipple will take towing and hauling to the next level, making it easier for your truck by allowing the motor to use less force to get things moving. For those of you who aren't necessarily doing all the towing and hauling, but might be interested in that serious power gain and muscle that the blower adds to the 5.3, this is a great choice. You can generally expect power gains of up to 150 rear wheel horsepower with this twin screw system, which is ready to go right out of the box at about seven to eight pounds of boost. The TBS or Twin Vortices Series Supercharger is really a staple in the blower community. That root style option that Whipple's got here offers a sizable gain in horsepower and torque. Now unfortunately we don't have a dyno graph for you today, but like I said the general claim is on 7 to 8 PSI you pick up somewhere up to 150 horsepower, which is currently the most pound per power option on the market. It's got a flat torque curve which helps with acceleration all around the RPM band. Now there are a few other options on the market for blowers for your 5.3 Silverado or Sierra. Some of those others will include the SLP TBS 1900 supercharger, the Eaton 1900 1.9 liter, and the 2300 2.3 liter superchargers. The Whipple here has 52% more displacement than the Eaton 1.9 and 26% more than the 2.3. It's 112 millimeter round inlet has a better airflow obviously than smaller 90 millimeters and 92 millimeters found in Whipple's competitors. Now the star of the kit is obviously the twin screw root blower, but below it you'll find the absolutely massive air to water intercooler, one that has a reservoir holding up to two and a half gallons that allows for lower air charge temps for more boost and time to be run on pump gas. It's got a center discharge port for better cylinder to cylinder distribution than other twin screws with forward facing discharge. The Big Mouth Whipple Crusher air intake has a hard plastic construction for increased velocity and lower inlet temps versus a steel or aluminum alternative. All of this is made to be a direct bolt-on, six belt system with adjustable idler and three minute pulley changes if you want to make more power with a smaller one. Finally, the wrinkle black finish is a really good looking cherry on top under your hood. Now I do want to point out that what you see on the table with me today is not everything that the kit comes with. You can find spark plugs, all of the necessary hardware, there are a ton of other goods included in the kit. I am just a little rough on space today. Now for those of you who may be considering the benefits of a supercharger versus turbocharging, keep in mind that a supercharger provides that instantaneous throttle response generating power throughout, but mostly on that low end. Turbos take time to spool and usually kick in at the higher RPM range unless you're going with that twin setup, which might not be the case there. Truck guys typically need that low end gain, so this is a really good way to go. If you like what you see, you can grab one for your own 5.3 for just about 6,500 bucks. Forced induction does not come cheap, but once you spend the money, you can feel every dollar's worth with these trucks. Now, as far as the installation goes, you're looking at the full three out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter, but I think that goes without saying. Now, any forced induction setup is very labor intensive and requires very good mechanical knowledge and expertise. I will say this is not the hardest install when it comes to forced induction, but it's not a job left to a novice. Expect a full day to a weekend of tackling it depending on your experience. You want to have the entire toolbox on deck when you get started, and there's no shame handing it over to a professional if you're not comfortable tackling it yourself. And that's going to wrap up my review of the Whipple W175FF 2.9 liter intercooled supercharger kit, which you can find for your own 14 to 18 53 Silverado or Sierra 1500. You can get yours right here at americantrucks.com.